When I left Stillwater for the Senate, I vowed never to forget my hometown roots. My husband gave his life defending Stillwater from gang violence. It is my greatest privilege to honor him with this bridge. Act up. for the high spot, boys. Whoever this crew is, they flow pretty damn good. They'll kill Ben's thugs. Kill who? He's the Syndicate's attack dog. What he did to Johnny's funeral. That's over the fucking limit. He doesn't care about the rules of engagement. <sighs> no rules? I can work with that. You're not ready to fight the Syndicate. Watch us. Let's relax, Sean D. All right, big man, what do you got? There are others who hate the Syndicate as much as you do. I will take you to them. Can you believe this? On my husband's bridge! No, 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 I will not come down. I am heading back to the hill. Book an emergency session. God damn it, this is war! Who's up first? Picking up a girl named Kenzie Kensington. The Deckers are holding her on a barge on the river. What's her deal? Oleg said she was with the FBI. Is that some kind of joke? Don't stress, she was kicked out. So we're getting a shitty fat. Aw, oh, don't start hating because we're getting a new girl. Are you serious? I'm not saying. I'm just saying. I'm not jealous. Who said jealous? That's all on you, girl? Oh, my God. Either get a room or tell me about Kinsey. Oleg didn't give me all the details, but he made it sound like Kinsey was about to out the syndicate so the Decker set her up for a fall. Ugh. I hope she's worth the hassle. Only one way to find out. We gotta get on that barge. Yeah, I'm a badass. What the hell are these guys wearing? No kidding, don't these chavs know Neo Cyberpunk was sold last decade? What? What? I didn't say anything. Find that thing. Kinsey Kensington? Yep. You don't seem that excited about being rescued. I'm waiting to see if you were sent to kill me. Girl's pragmatic. I like her. So what do you want with me? You don't look like feds. We heard that you know some people who hate the Syndicate as much as we do. Well, the DeWinters are keeping Zemos at safe word. Right. Uh, what? The DeWinters are the twin sisters that run prostitution in Steelport. Zemos was their competition, so the sisters locked him up. And safe word is just a BDSM club that caters to various acts of perversion. The name comes from... Ho ah, we got it. Mine's Teacup. I'll get her out of here. Have fun at the... You ever been to one of these clubs? I look like I go to one of those clubs? You never can tell. <laughs> Stop talking. Cool, so defensive. Did I hit nerve? Shut up. How do we even find this bloke? Shake people down? Someone's gotta know where they're keeping our boy. Hi there. T 
tell me where Zemos is or I'll beat the fuck out of you. Oh, yes! Unexpected. The manager's upstairs. He ain't no. Just take me. I've been bad. Are you the manager? I don't know anything. I'm just here for a bachelor party. Oh, for fuck's sake. Just like old times! I need to find Zemos. What well, if I say anything? The De Winter sisters will cut me off! Start talking, or other things are gonna get cut off. He's in the pony barn! Alright. <laughs> that worked out well. I never see this place again. It'll be too soon. Ugh. Don't suppose you have any hand sanitizer? How are we gonna find Zemos? Look for the cat in here who isn't excited to be eating a ball gag? Or just look for the guy with the rhinestone Z on his back. Fuck out of here, man. Oh, well, shit, that's convenient. They went this way. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> we don't got time, Zemos. Mush! <laughs> God, can't this guy go faster? I don't think it works that way. Sorry about making you, you know, pull us around. This is a rescue, right? <laughs> this ain't some elaborate setup for a gangbang. Why you gotta put that image in my head, bro? Oh, I'll go with rescue then. <laughs> I would shake your hands, but them floors were a little sticky, if you know what I'm saying. I'm good. Find a moist towelette or something. What's up? I found the guy I was talking about. His name's Angel de la Muerte. He was Killbane's tag team partner until he went crazy. Till who went crazy? Angel or Killbane? I should probably look into that. The point is, Angel hates Killbane more than you do. He should be willing to help. Where is he? That's the tricky part. The luchadors are attacking him at the gym right now. You should probably hurry before he gets killed. Uh, don't you think you should have led with that? You have too many questions. I hurry up, you're on the clock. Come on, Z. Time to mount a rescue. Don't say mount. Saddle up, partner. If you didn't just bust me out, I'd be walking the other way. You all right, Z? I wish you let me go home and change, brother. What I got on ain't exactly comfortable. You sign your mugshot? Plenty to go around. Let's find Angel. You're not one of Lorenz's brutes. And you are not one of Kilbane's luchadors. No, but they are. Leave this imposter to me. But that means everyone else is on us. You're gonna pick up the big fucking gun away. Give me a bloody second. Just couldn't handle us. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Philippe is dead, and we are at a crossroads. And the question is, who will lead the syndicate to a new era? Viola and Kiki were Mr. Lorenz's right hands. I had someone else in mind. Excuse me? The Syndicate has to answer for what they did. And this time, we're taking the fight to them. Since we don't know Steelport, I brought in some people who do. This is Kinsey, Zemos, and Angel. The Barbarians are at the gate! We need a general, not an ambassador! Calm down, Eddie. What did you call me? What would you like us to do, Kilbane? Something. Anything! Before I wonder why I keep you bookends around. Talk to one of these guys, they'll have things for you to do. It's our time now. Let's get this shit started. Yeah! Yeah! 
Sexual fetishes are left in the bedroom or the brothel. However, citizens here in Steelport were recently... exposed to the darker side of the equestrian world. Several pony carts were used as getaway vehicles during a shootout on the streets of the city. The carts, pulled by people dressed in leather straps and wearing bridles, turned the heads of both the disgusted and the aroused. Not one witness could give a description of the drivers who were shooting each other, most stating they were too busy trying to figure out how the horse tails were attached. This is Jane Valderrama with your Steelport Recreational News. This week on Nightblade, see how it all began as Nightblade relives his past.